What's up, what's up, what's up? Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and hit that bell. Right now, I'm actually explaining something that I wasn't actually going to add in this video. I wasn't going to add how to do this these animations in this one particularly. And in fact, um, I made this video after I finished making the main part of this video. So, um, let's get into how you can actually animate this. Pull out two knots, one right here, one right here, and put an and right here. Double knot this and, and then put a knot gate string into the, uh, or the, put the ands string, this purple thing, into the knot gates import and its out port into your gun. So how do you actually make these guns look halfway decent? Um, it's actually fairly simple. Think of it as a silhouette. Um... I use I use the uh, the screen to uh, do the pixel art because it's it's just a whole lot better, um, and really it's just a black smudge and then you color it in gray. That's all it is if you want to think of it. And then the hand is uh, the thumb right there, and then the finger where the trigger needs to be. And that's how you can get that set up. Then after you actually make it, you can clone it and then just tilt it. What you'll do is put this knot gate string into the dot that will be right here. And then you'll put the and gates thing into the dot of the first one. You'll put this blue wire into a object that I talk about later in this video. And you'll put this blue wire into this object that I'll let talk about later in this video. If you want to get this to where it presses instead of holds, whenever you press your shoot button, whatever it may be for you, just click this. You can even change the buttons right here, I believe. Other than that, you might want to get rid of the sun. Here's my settings. I just changed it to noon. You can copy these settings right here. And this is the world node on. Outside of that, this should be it. Um, I hope you guys really do enjoy this tutorial. Next video, I'll be showing you guys how to get rid of the tiles and customizing your own level, if that makes sense. Um, but now it's time to get the bullets in here and um, um, and and getting everything else. And add the flash whenever it's your second one uh, for the gun. You'll add that yellow might not be able to see it, but it's right there. What's up, what's up, what's up? Don't forget to subscribe, all that great stuff. Uh, this is how you can make a Doom style game in Garage Builder. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial more to come um technically you can make health bars using this method also so i might put that in the video description also you just had to animate it uh you can animate the gun after the shot also um i can show you how to do that in another video all that great stuff and here we are so what it is is my first video it's gonna appear at the top make sure you watch that so i don't have to explain like a whole bunch of other stuff this is a continuation of that. Um, that object that we had in the last video, what you want to do is make it invisible. Before you make it invisible, connect it to a texture object. You can find that under objects. Somewhere. Texture. Then you want to make your sprite. This is the hardest part. You can, um, the way that I look at it, make like a, I mean, it's easy, but it's hard. It's going to be like, you want it to look half decent. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's like the bare minimum. <laughs> that's the bare minimum right there. Uh, what I did. Um, next, what you want to do is pull out a, In effect, I chose smoke, connect 
that also to object and connect the A button to the other port. Right there. Right here I have the emitter. I just had to double check. These are my emit settings. Z plus, C plus, zero gravity, movable, Z minus right here. Copy all these settings. The hardest part is literally getting the texture in position with the object. So I'm gonna show you how big my object is. Copy these settings right here. And this setting right here, center and Z plus. That's uh, how I got it to shoot uh, like that. And how I got this sprite to appear where it appears in the screen. You can mess around with it, maybe make it better than mine, but that's how I did all that. And then I just set this to invisible. Here's yeah. the settings for the guide, just in case I didn't explain this in the last video. I'm sure I did. You will have to check out that video. And again, yes, you should be able to make health bars with this. Uh, again, I'll make that video also. Head is inside of this object. and pull out this world thing, what you want to do is mess with the sun lighting, all this lighting stuff, because it'll like, there'll be like be a glare on your gun. And you want to mess with that. This is, uh, this appears to be how you mess with that. There might be something else that helps with that. I'm not sure. Other than that, I have an A button that's in, um, the gun. Yeah, I actually don't want that solid. Or maybe you do. You might want it solid. What you'll want to do is make it to work and hurt things, you know what I'm saying? How you do that, you know, is... Uh, see what it can be destructive against. Mess around with that. And then you mess with the size for this, I believe. I think. I wanna copy these. Mess with the size. And then again, it's uh, the hardest part is getting this the right this box for the thing the right size, and getting this the right size for the box. Um, because if you don't get anything the right size, then everything will like start clipping. If that makes sense, you also want to copy this setting right here. That's very important. The good news is that. You can actually turn on these guides. This helps a whole lot. <laughs> That's the good news. Um, I am unsure if you can mess with the visibility of these odd things. I don't think you can. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if I left anything out, let me know. Uh, you can switch sides, like if you need to make these boxes bigger on other axes, you can just by clicking this. So here's what this looks like on this axis, and here's what the box looks like on this axis. And this should just be the standard box object found under objects, like the simple one.
and I also have rotation on. And you can just barely see that blue. Enjoy, enjoy. Subscribe, all that great stuff, and thanks for watching. Uh, more tutorials on the way and more content. And I do Dreams PS4 on my channel, so if you want to see the games that I made on the PS4, you can. So here's what my game looks like in Dreams. Um, this is probably going to be real interesting. Um, like I said, my tutorial is like near what Nintendo's um, base is their tutorial section around, so I'll show you that first. You'll notice my game... It, it is inspired by Smash Bros. It, like, so, like, what it's saying is, um, you know, usually after three hits, you'll fall down, no matter what. Um, but if you're blocking, then you won't faint. So, like, that's the, uh, trick, and you can dodge out of it. So, that's how you play my game, um.